Welcome to our lecture online. Geometric sequences are actually quite useful and they have all kinds of applications so I thought I'd slip in one simple application to see why they are useful. So let's say that we have a situation where the price of a professional football ticket is expecting to rise by 20% per year and that they're currently at $40. So what will be the price for the next four years for that particular ticket? Well, let's go ahead and see how we can then develop the cost of each ticket for every year. We'll start with the first term of the sequence, and we'll call that A sub 1, and we can say that that starts at $40. We'll leave off the number, the dollar sign, so we can just simply work with the numbers. Then, A sub 2 will be equal to A sub 1 plus an additional 20%, 0 0.2 times A sub 1. Well, when you take a look at that, that's in essence 1.2 times a sub 1. So this is equal to 1.2 times a sub 1, which is 1.2 times 40. Now, well, that will be 48. So after one year, the ticket will now be 48. So a sub 2 is 48. And so if we're going to build up a sequence, you can see that the first term will be 40, and the second term will be 48. How about the third term? Well, a sub 3 will be equal to A sub 2 plus another 20% added to A sub 2. With other words, that's equal to 1.2 times A sub 2. And so this will be equal to 1.2 times 48, which will be equal to, that's 48, that would be 96, that's 58 minus 6, that's 57 and 60 cents, I believe, 57.60. Let me quickly grab a calculator. Make sure I did that correct. Well, there's other ways of checking it. That's 3, that's 12, that's 3, 3 times 3 is 9, that's 0, 12, 18, 9. Yep, that is correct. Did a little trick to check. Anyway, that's $57.60. And so that would be A sub 3. That will be the next term in our sequence, 57.6. How about the next one? A sub 4. Well, that's equal to A sub 3 plus 20% more of A sub 3 or that's equal to 1.2 times a sub 3, or 1.2 times $57.60. All right, now I'm going to grab a calculator. Things get a little bit more complicated. 48 times 2. All right, so now times 1.2, and we get 69.12. That's $69.12. There we go, and that's going to be the next term in our sequence, 69.12 and now let's do it one more time because they did ask for the next four so now we get a sub 5 which is equal to a sub 4 plus another 20 percent of a sub 4 which is 1.2 times a sub 4 which is 1.2 times the previous price 69.12 and that gives us um, 82 0.94. There we go. And so that would be the next one. So that would be 82.94. And so there you go. There's your sequence of five consecutive prices for the ticket. $40 is current and then for each consecutive year. Now, what kind of sequence is this? Well, notice that we get every next term by taking the previous term and multi multiplying it by the same number, 1.2. 1.2 times A1, 1.2 times A2, 1.2 times A3. So it is what we call a geometric sequence. And what does 1.2 represent? 1.2 is the common ratio. So we have the common ratio. Which is equal to R. We use the letter R, which in this case is 1.2. So we can say that R is equal to A n plus 1 divided by a, the ratio, a sub n I should say, is the ratio of the next term divided by the previous term. And so in this case, we'll pick, let's say, 57.6, and we divide it by the previous, which is 48. So because that is equal to a sub 3 divided by a sub 2, we take that ratio, and that will come out to be 1.2, the common ratio. And so here we are, we can see that a sequence is definitely very useful in all kinds of situations. We can then find whether or not it's a arith arithmetic or a geometric 
sequence. In this particular case, it's geometric. We found the common ratio, and that's how, in each case, we found the next term in the sequence, and that is how it's done.